Hello and welcome to the NBS show episode number 521. I am your host Norman Sanzo and we got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. So first up is a computer what is this? A computer repair company called Kompushka.by in Belarus has a Pony OC. Oh cool. Uh remember that donut we posted a few weeks ago apparently belarus isn't stopping at donut a computer repair store over there called kompuskash.by has apparently adopted an adorable horse for their mascot and of course people have started drawing her fixing computers oh wow um head on down below for pictures along with very inventive software solution from a cartoon horse all right uh okay uh silly anon if your laptop is wet just put in dry oats and nom 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 <laughs> all right so <laughs> oh wow okay um cool cool <clears throat> So, um, text here seems Russian, I think. Belarus. I, I'm not 100% sure what Belarus is. But, uh, <clears throat> sorry, but, 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 this looks cool and creative and very innovative. Or, you know, just in terms of, um, advertising. And this is cool. This is a cool way to advertise your company. But, at the same time, too, this is this comes to uh, those a uh, copyright thing where do they have the rights to do this and whatnot? And the the, the thing is, well, the the thing what I'm asking is because uh yes, this is an OC, an original character. Uh, they probably commissioned artists to do the artwork for the pony and whatnot. So. Yay, they're quote unquote probably safe there. But the shape, the look is similar to G4, and that might be a problem. I don't know. But hey, um, if it's all cool and legal and they're not getting in trouble for it, hey, more power to them. And more cartoon horses is always good in my books. And having them just go out with this kind of mascot I, I got no idea <laughs> I got nothing to say except good luck and have fun so let's move on to the next news Karela teams up with Hasbro for G5 coloring sheet <coughs> so Karela has partnered up with Hasbro in a new back to school event with a few G5 coloring sheets available. Uh, they are two to pick up if you want to color some cartoon horses. They've been added to the Crayola app on Android and iOS with a promo video, right? So I'm not gonna watch the video here right now, but still, um, this is cool. <laughs> Uh, Apple Arcade posted it up, so AA, and yeah, this is the two coloring sheets you can get, I guess, and it's how to put it. Um, this is kind of cool because having sheets to color and um, I'm I'm guessing here uh, using the app is much more cleaner, so you don't have to waste paper and print it and whatnot, but um. If you're creative and just want to practice your coloring, this is fun too. I'm not sure if ponies is your jam, but hey, uh, you could always go for other things. Um, they here say that there's PJ Masks, Tonka Tough 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 Toys, and Red Games. Uh, and this is Red Games for uh, Style Squad. Uh, okay, I guess. So yeah, there's, there's a few more things that you can do. But wait, um, our show is ponies, so we're going to focus on the ponies. 
And one thing here I'm looking at, it, it always bugs me, but this always happens in coloring books where your art is this way. It's all cool and whatnot, but the cutie marks are all in black. Sometimes your eyes are also black too. So it kind of messes up with the whole I want to color their eyes thing. Yeah, I mean, we have black here, so it kind of works out in the end. But, you know, creative things, stuff. Maybe you want to make them have red eyes. I, I don't know. <clears throat> but this is cool. It's available on iOS and Android, so go check it out. Next up is Hasbro Entertainment replacing E1. Oh, this is this is showing how late I am to the game. <laughs> About 10 days, I guess. Whatever. Uh, the E1 saga continues. After announcing that they'll be selling E1 to Lionsgate for 500 million. Oh, that's not great. Hasbro has revealed that replacing it will be a completely in-house division called Hasbro Entertainment. And the E1 roots won't be completely gone either. They are abolishing three big names from the company. <coughs> uh, uh, absorbing, sorry, my bad. Absorbing three big names from the company. Oliver Dumont will be shifting from his role as president of family brands to president of Hasbro Entertainment in general. And Zev, Zev Foreman joins Gabri, Gabri, Gabriel, Gabriel Mar, Marono, Marono to serve as head film and head of the television. Hopefully this sets up for an interesting future for G5. Hasbro's president of toy licensing and entertainment specifically uh, mentions My Little Pony as part of their storytelling catalog. It includes with Peppa Pig and Transformers. Alright, cool, cool. So one, one of the few things that I didn't know about the 500 million sale is that um, way back when, when Hasbro made E1 and everything and it hmm, bought a few companies, was that uh, when they when they initially bought it or created it, it was about about one billion dollars or something like that, and now they're selling it for five hundred million, which is pennies to the change. And it was kind of a what the hell were they thinking? They were losing a lot, but not really. Uh, they're selling the company. But what they're not selling is their copyright, um, their copyrights and the brands that they own. Uh, some of the brands that they own were pretty big. Um, besides the ponies and whatnot, they also own rights to some popular shows. I, I'm sorry, I, I'm forgetting a lot of things right now because it's been a while since I really heard and delved deep into this. But more or less. They came out winning because of owning brands. So that's that's a win. As long as you have the license and rights to brands or IPs, that means you can do a lot of things going forward. Uh, a good example is this. <clears throat> they have the rights for Dungeons and Dragons. That means they can do television, movies, video games, um, books, which technically they are doing, but I'm not talking about the uh, D&D books. I'm talking more or less stories, car, car, comic books, and so on, which they are doing. But that's the general idea. So uh, with whatever they have, they can um, create more with it. And also having the license or having the IP, they can license it out to companies. For example, like Larian with their recent uh, smash hit, a Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, people think that Hasbro commissioned them to create the game. Nope. They licensed the IP 
from Larian and spent years making the game as good as it is. And I'm also assuming that Hasbro asked, can we take a look at the game before we publish it? See how it, how it looks. Um, is it within our uh, rights or is, or is it within our vision for the brand? And they look at it and they're happy with it, I guess, because they're, I didn't hear any bitching and moaning. So yay, that's always a good thing. So yeah, um, this, this news here of them just moving to create Hasbro Entertainment is kind of cool because right now with their own house, uh, with their own entertainment or uh, in-house division, they can do whatever they want and they can just start out slowly or start out strong because they have a lot of good brands here. Um, one of the few things that they mentioned is My Little Pony, Transformers, Peppa Pig, and I'm also thinking um, those truck things. So yeah, they have a lot of um, power behind their brand and they can, they can survive. It's just that are the consumers interested in purchasing, viewing, or interacting with their things? So we'll just have to see. And moving on to the next news. <coughs> How will... Oh, boy, give me a second. Sorry about that. As you can hear, my cough is not really going away. How will they... I'm oh, sorry. How will the new... Hasbro Entertainment Division and the E1 sales impact My Little Pony? This is a really good question, though. Um, <coughs> Hasbro brands are officially under new management. Sort of. Last Friday, Hasbro announced, announced the leadership team for their new Hasbro Entertainment Division, which will encompass all of their films and television projects going forward forward the recognition recognition reg reg the reorganization follows the sale of the entertainment one to lionsgate hasbro is keeping the family brand parts including peppa pig pj mask which they acquired along with the rest of E1 in 2019. So yeah, this was the thing that I mentioned before. E1 holds a bit of license like Peppa Pig, PJ Masks, and so on. They bought them for a billion, I think. And now they get to keep those brands. Uh, unfortunately, I think they still lose a few things along the way over to Lionsgate. What those are, I don't remember. But anyway, let's move on. <coughs> What uh, what actually changed? Hasbro Entertainment president will be Oliver Dumont, who was previously the president of the family brand division, Hasbro Press Release. Emphasized that the other members of the leadership team will, uh, sorry, were also previously focused on projects based on Hasbro brand. It seems as though Hasbro Entertainment is basically a direct successor to the family brand division and not so much a complete reorganization. So you just move people around and just change titles. All right, cool, 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 cool. Um, press release, I guess. Oliver Demont will serve as president of Hasbro Entertainment with Zef Foreman and Gabriel Maro, Mama, Mara, Marano serving as head of film. And we read that. Uh, primarily focus on Hasbro IP project while at E1 will and, and and at E1 and will continue this work with their new expanded roles directly for Hasbro. Alright, so all of them will be working on whatever they were working, but more focus on Hasbro or working directly for Hasbro. Alright, cool, cool. That means they're we'll more focusing on their brands. Uh, like I mentioned before, they have 
ponies, Transformers, Peppa Pig, PJ Masks, and so on. So yeah, um, that's cool. All right. Oh, do, I do hope that they work on G.I. Joe. It's been a while. But anyway, continuing on. The most role was actually announced on August 3rd during Hasbro's quarter 2, 2013 investor conference call. So the actual... <coughs> <coughs> <All right. coughs> so the actual purpose of the press release was to announce the promotion to Foreman and Morano. Morano. In his previous role, Morano co-oversaw all Hasbro IP in live action and adult animations. Ah, so that that's mostly covering D and D. And I'm also guessing any ads because ads have live action things and other animation. Oof, what are those besides G.I. Joe's Transformers? I guess Transformers, I don't know, but not children's animation. Uh, it's not directly stated whether he will. Now also oversee the latter, meaning uh, children's thing. Uh, how does all of this affect My Little Pony? Yes, this is an important one for us. The sales of E1 means that Hasbro will move to an asset light mode where uh, model where uh, and will rely on other companies to produce films and shows instead of making them in house. However, it is already the case for all ongoing MLP productions, which will likely be mostly unaffected by Hasbro Entertainment's creation, at least in the short term. <clears throat> My Little Pony Tell Your Tales anim is animated by the Malaysian company, Yay! Little Critter Workshop. And My Little Pony Make Your Mark was animated in Canada by Atomic Cartoons. Although the film My Little Pony A New Generation was animated in house by Boulder Media, which was a subsidiary of Hasbro, Boulder Media was sold off in 2022. So the film is likely to remain the only G5 media to be produced in house. In 2021, character designer Imalu stated that Hasbro was originally planning to have Bolu Media produce Make Your Mark and had proceeded far enough that Bolu Media employees were applying uh, were applying internally to work on it. However, Hasbro ultimately went with Atomic Cartoons instead. That sucks. Um, would I really read the press release? You know what? I'm just gonna do it. I was no, no. This is this is not. You know what? I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave you with that. Uh, also, people at this podcast who are listening to this audio, uh, go check out the news on the links so you can read what Emilio mentioned. Anyway, while the new press release boasted that Hasbro Entertainment is currently dealing with over thirty projects. This number includes shows that are already being released but are still continuing production. That only confirms ongoing My Little Pony projects is uh the only confirm My Little Pony only confirm ongoing My Little Pony project is My Little Pony Tell Your Tales, which we went about already according to Hasbro's plan for twenty twenty three to twenty and twenty twenty four. Make your mark will continue. Sorry, make your mark will conclude in November, and Tell Your Tale will see a second season in 2024, and potentially more in the future. This is unlikely to have changed, especially considering the difficulty of ex and expenses of doing so at this point. If Hasbro is planning another NLP film, we would likely find about it soon after production begins not as being uh, nothing has been an, mm, 
nothing has been announced. So, if there is ever another film, it'll likely be at least several years before anything materializes. <clears throat> so, what this tells me is that the show is still going on like normal and nothing has really changed. Uh, all of the things that they've done in the past are still ongoing and uh, will kind of probably halt when things are done. Uh, right now, what we know from the news here is that uh, tell you, uh, Make Your Mark will conclude in November of this year, I think? Doesn't say uh, 2024 or this year. I think it's this year. So anyway, uh, we still have Tell Your Tale. And to be honest, I can't remember which one is which for the life of me. But anywho, um, we still have that. So anything that they're going to do now, they should probably... So we should probably get news on it probably in... Uh, 2024 next year and that's just hype hype talk before anything actually comes to light and what i mean by that is creating a project or a cartoon or whatever it is takes a lot of pre-planning time and um discussion between departments <clears throat> so if they're going to create a as um who here Overcastia mentioned if they're going to make a movie, a My Little Pony movie, it will probably take them a lot of time. So let's just say this. They're having a meeting now and they're talking, say, let's make a pony movie. A G5 Pony movie. And they'll say, and they'll discuss, oh, yeah, that's cool. So let's recast the movie voice actors to see if they can come back and reprise their role. And this is going to be one of those difficult things because if they want to do it, they got to get all of them. If not, then let's just use the ones from the. Uh, TV series because we already have them and they'll be glad to come in and lend their voices for the characters. Yay, let's do that instead. And we don't have to pay big bucks for the voice actors. Mm. So, once doing that, deciding that, okay, we go for this. Now, they're going to go, what's the story going to be about? Oh, let's hire our writers to see what we can get. Oh no, the writer strike is happening. So e, that's going to be how they're going to play it out. Do we do it this way or that way? Or do we ask the AI, the AI to do it? And then we'll get fan fiction. Oh god, no. But the general idea is they have to look at the screenplay and if they like the story and whatnot, they'll try to tweak, fix, and make a proper script. After that's done, that's going to take a long while. Uh, they, once that's settled in, they're going to decide on the budget. After the budget, they're going to decide on the studio that's going to be making their movie. <coughs> like I mentioned before, Boulder Media sold off, so probably they'll either go for atomic cartoons and get higher quality animations from them or probably they'll go for another company. I don't know. But going forward for whatever the case is, there's a lot of pre-plannings and whatnot. So that's going to take them at least two or three years just to get something done. And by the time it's ready, they'll just say, hey guys, we got something ready for you guys. Uh, this, what, probably on year two of everything that is being done. Let's just say it's a three-year process. On year two, they announce some things coming up and they'll trickle down stuff 
so that we get our taste buds or our interest heat. And by the time when everything's ready, uh, they'll, on year three, I'm guessing, probably, they'll publish it and stuff, they hype it up, and we go and watch it on Netflix. That seems to be the trend now. So with that, we go watch it on Netflix. Yay, it's fun and so on, and they'll get back their money somehow. Also, don't forget that there's also toys to sell. So the Hasbro toy division is going to say, all right, so you got a new movie. What is it? Okay, what can we, what, what do you have that we can sell? Oh no, you don't have nothing. Put in a train or bus or some kind of this ex machina that we can sell. Remember that Christmas special that we reviewed with the bus that can fly? God damn it. That's one of the toys that was available out there and I saw and I like, oh god, this is this something that they sell. Whew. So yeah, that's something. And you know what? That's from the pony side of things. <coughs> and like I mentioned before, there's a lot of things. Transformers, GTI Joe's, um, Little Spat Shop, also... Uh, PJ Pajamas, whatever it is, Palm Puppies. So there is a lot of things that they own that they can do. One of the, um, Dan something, um, Dan, um, that show, Dan something, they own that, they could do something with it. <clears throat> so there's a lot of things that they can do and probably should do. But we'll just see how things go. As for now, I'm here being hopeful that they do something. Especially with ponies. And especially with how the story is going and stuff. Video games, that's something they should do. But anywho, let's move on to, well, um, next topic. Um, what have I been doing with my week? And to be honest, with you guys at home, I've been busy with life and distracted with a lot of things. So, the, one of the few reasons why I haven't posted anything is because life and work. And it's been really keeping me distracted and busy. Um, I just have the time now to create this and also have a lot of news to talk about so yay and yeah um nothing nothing new uh, still the same thing dnd magic um probably i'll talk about it on the patreon about stuff i don't know pro probably if you're interested in checking that out that's probably going to be an exclusive go support the channel on patreon.com so anyway, um, let's wrap things up. Let's wrap things up. <coughs> Dying. Um, let's see. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at nbshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is NBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Um, also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon and stay up to date. And uh, you can also Catch us on Spotify. Sorry, not hundred percent sure on Spotify, but uh, I know you can catch us on Audible. Yeah, we're on Audible somehow. That surprising. Not really because I told Amazon that it's okay. So yay, we're on Audible. Woo! <laughs> um, the reason the reason why I'm not mentioning Stitch Radio is Stitch Radio is going to close down. And we won't be there. So if you're using Stitch Radio to listen to your podcast needs and wants, uh, sad news, they'll be shutting down and <clears throat> you should probably use a new podcast aggregate to catch your podcasting needs. Um, also, we have Facebook, so you can also like us there. And yeah, th th that's about it. That's about it. So anyway, um... If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash mbs show. With every support, you get a week's early access 
<clears throat> a week's early access to the review discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Jacob, Lucky Knight, and also Best of Lag. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next time with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya.